13-4, Landrace Gilt, pedigree is sneak peek, timing's right. Uh, yeah, so the 13 litter uh, be out of the uh, uh, the 12, uh, 12 nine sow uh, would have raised an incredible litter this fall. Uh, that would have included the, the Wildcat boar there at Bex and a handful of winners there in uh, uh, Perry and in, in the Texas area. Um, this 13 uh, litter, uh, they just keep coming in terms of quality. Uh, it's extremely deep, and this 13-4 is another one that's high on my list. Uh, I look to Clay when these things come in, and I, <laughs> I go, hey, get your pen ready because you need to write a couple of these down. Uh, I think this one's pretty nice, uh, and I think if you're looking to show a land race this summer, whether that's Expo, Louisville, State Fair, uh, maybe even beyond that, uh, I think this one fits, uh, fits the bill and, and can do that. Yeah, certainly don't you know don't think that uh, there isn't something you can can't get bought in this uh, group. There's so many of them that uh, I think you need to be paying attention. There's not just that one that you know that we can say, "Ooh, that's the best one," right? Uh, I think there's a handful, and everybody will probably have them ranked a little differently. And this one needs to be towards the top of the list and do it in a hurry. Um, I think she can be competitive at all stages. Um, whatever your goal is with uh, with your show pigs, I, I think this one could help you uh, certainly achieve some of those goals. She just does everything correct. Fundamental package, bone, look, design, flexibility, all things that uh, it's hard to do in any pig, but certainly in this land race breed, it's not easy. I think she's got a shot to be really competitive at the highest levels, 13-4.